Good day, Captains. Feature Discovery Series number three is here, and there is quite a lot of exciting stuff to talk about. Things they talked about was optimized frame rate, which is reassuring for mid-range flight simmers, aerodynamics regarding the flight model and the world, realistic skidding, turbulence, and much more. So if you're in for all of that, like the video and subscribe for much more. They improved the core of the physics engine, which in generally means we've got better physics. We can finally land on a sloped runway realistically. They improved the friction model just so that the rubber of the landing gear collides correctly with different materials like cement, tarmac, grass and so on. Skidding has been improved too, so if an airplane skids it will skid realistically. You'll feel the bumps on runways more and you can come to a full stop on a sloped runway. The frame rate is much smoother so in general better performance which was something most people including me were worried about. Back in the FSX days. Planes felt like you were driving on rails, everything went in a straight line, so now they improved that too in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, which basically means the aircraft will behave much more realistically, just like in the real world. Some aircraft systems have been rewritten like the turn coordinator, the fuel consumption flaps and the gear. Also one fun fact about the gear, in real life when the gear is extended it creates drag and this hasn't really been noticed in any sim before, but now Microsoft has implemented that too which makes the sim even better. All aircrafts have been reviewed with real life professional pilots so they made sure the plane feels realistically just like in real life. Now comes the big part, aerodynamics. They made the aerodynamics in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 much more advanced so what they did is they subdivided each aircraft into thousands and thousands of little pieces and every little piece reacts correctly to aerodynamics. So the gear, the tail, the flaps and so on. This means you can have realistic stalls and deep stalls. All of this is great for doing aerobatics of course, which we've seen quite a few times already in trailers and media posts. Next up we've got the simulation of air mass around the globe. So there is basically a real time fluid simulation ongoing while you are flying. All of this info is fed into the aerodynamic system so the aircraft can react properly to clouds, wind, turbulence etc. Volumetric clouds are a part of the simulation too so they will match the air mass simulation which makes turbulence and up and down draft possible. I'm really looking forward to experiencing with those. Storms and supercells have been showcased in some trailers too and they look absolutely awesome. Another thing about the air mass simulation is that it is responsive to the environment. So air will go around buildings or it will go up when it hits mountains. So this was in short all that was said in the feature discovery series update 3. You can watch the official video by clicking the link in the description. Also make sure to check out the FSI website as Microsoft really keeps in touch with the community here. If you haven't already registered for the Tech Alpha 2, make sure to do that right now on the FSI website, make an insider account and go ahead and register over there. So that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it and I hope to see you next time. Bye!